here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we have some rain, some snow, some sleet on the way for tonight. I think most areas north and west of 95 will have a chance of seeing some wintry weather where everyone else will see rain. And then eventually we all change the rain for Saturday morning. So let's dive right into it. And we have a winter weather advisory in effect for the northwest part of the state. That includes places like Smithfield, Foster, Gloucester, and like I said, anywhere North and west of 95, you have a chance at some wintry weather. The rest of us will see some rain, and then everyone sees rain as we go into Saturday morning, but just watch for some slick spots later on this evening as that winter weather advisory is in effect. Live look at Newport. We're dry right now. It is cloudy. The precip is getting ever so close to us. Current temperatures in the mid 30s, winds are calm. The dew points are rising a little bit in the upper 20s, but it is still pretty dry out there. Live look at the radar. This is a wide shot, so you can see all the precip extending from parts of Missouri and Iowa into Chicago. Michigan and into our neck of the woods here in the Northeast. We will be seeing rain moving in over the coming hours and then maybe in the Northwest corner could see some snow and some sleet causing some slick travel issues on the roadways. But overall, I think this is a more wet storm than a wintry storm. Current temperatures cold enough for snow in Smithfield, 32 degrees, 35 in Providence, 34 in Newport and 36 in New Bedford. These temperatures will actually be on the rise as we go overnight tonight. Hence, while we're expecting rain tonight, winds right now calm. I do expect these winds to begin to shift from the south, bringing in some warmer air. When I say warmer air, I think 40s to near 50 by tomorrow afternoon. So we have some good news in the forecast coming up. Let's get through this precip. You can see the live radar here, some snow across parts of Connecticut, and then some rain moving into the area as well. This is all associated with a low pressure system off the coast of uh, North Carolina. That'll track up the east coast and give us that weather for the overnight hours into early Saturday. Saturday, let's time this out for you. Cloudy skies right now, temperatures in the low to mid 30s. These temperatures will rise as we go into the overnight hours with the rain developing, a few areas of mixing possible north and west. And then the rain clears on out tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Clouds linger and we get rid of the rain. Some clearing possible in the afternoon with temperatures in the low 50s. And then we cool right back down as we go into tomorrow night. Temperatures drop through the 40s, eventually into the 30s as we head into later on tomorrow night. With Look at that, 33 in Smithfield by 11 p.m., 34 in Providence. So we have some messy weather on the way tonight, but then we have some clearing in the forecast for most of Saturday. So tonight's forecast, again, messy weather, mixed terrain, rising temperatures, so that's good news. Wind south around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for your morning forecast for tomorrow, we're expecting showers around 6 a.m., 9 a.m. The showers should come to an end around, say, 8 or 9 a.m. Temperatures rising through the 40s. And by noontime, we are almost near 50 degrees with some sunshine peeking in through the clouds. Now my seven day forecast. We have some weather to talk about for Saturday morning rain, p.m. Sun Sunday. Another system comes in, especially for the afternoon, bringing us a mix of rain, snow, sleet and freezing rain, ending us some mixing on Monday. And then the rest of the week looks pretty good with temperatures in the 40s and a mix of sun and clouds. All right, it's coming out to be a brighter week. We just got to make it through the next couple of days. Exactly. Get through this weekend with the messy weather, and then we'll have some better weather hopefully next week. Crossing our fingers. Thanks, Stephen. Coming up next in sports.